Okay, starting with this one is the inlet. This is the uh, 30 amps. Uh, it's using this type of plug here. So this will have ground, neutral, and your two hots. Connect all that in. And uh, let's go downstairs. All right, here is the transfer switch from Reliance Control. It's a 10 breaker circuit. Um, here you have the, uh, uh, well, this is a 6.3, I, I did an overkill, but you can do 8.3 wires coming from the inlet up, upstairs out in the sidings. Go down to here and go over. So the white connects to the white, the red connects to the red, and the black connects to the black. And then all of that will come over here to your main panel. Um, it's grounded and it's a neutral bar. So you add two of those in and then you pick out your 10 circuits that you want to power. And that will be right here. So let's, uh, simulate a power outage. Everything right now is on line mode. Okay. So that's power from outside. Now we switch this off. All right. Everything is dark. Go back up. Back outside. And let's plug this guy in. Turn the light. Turn the truck on. Yes. Okay, so that's gonna supply 7,200 watts. And a lot of people ask, uh, well, it's supposed to be 9.6, but remember, uh, this only outputs 7.2 and the other 2.4 is in your front. So just in case of emergency, if you need that extra outlet, this you can use in the front. All right, since that's power on, we put down back to the basement. And then we switch over to generator. All right. Yeah, let's go back up. So all the lights are on upstairs bathroom hallways garage and everything is working just from that truck uh just make sure you don't connect the ground wire down in the transfer switch because it is grounded and neutral bond over on the main panel Thank you very much.